So yesterday we were brewing the Carton 2012 Harvest Citra, which is its full name. The Harvest beer idea is kind of a 25% rye, the rest two row Pilsner, simple rye pale ale, around 6%, for getting fresh hops at the beginning of fall and putting them in a beer to kind of see what they're going to do this year, what, what this year's harvest is going to be like. So our plan is to do it every year, same base, and then change the hop. So this year what we're doing is it's a whole flower wet hop, whole cone wet hop citra, and then we're going to dry hop with dried whole cone amarillo. Um, and that'll be this year's. And next year's, you know, maybe two other, there's eight hops in boat and nine in 077, so we can pick a bunch to do next year, or we can go a totally different way and try to do them differently. But it's autumn. We thought a little bit of spice, a little bit of rye spice and a pale ale was a good platform for looking at the hops. And then we're just trying to build the hop beer around it for a one-off, kind of a canary in the coal mine, if you will, of what this harvest holds in Pacific Northwest hop production. Carton Harvest 2012. With, uh, with fresh citra hops. We can only get them once a year. They, 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 they harvested them and they sent them uh, overnight to us and we received them uh, yesterday. We brewed half the bear, uh, batch yesterday and we brewed the other half today. They smell awesome. And like if you hold them in your hands, they get like resin all over your hands. It's pretty awesome. They're dank, man. We started out by crushing the grain. We then conveyed the grain using the augers from the mill through the grist case to the mash tun. And we mashed the, the grain with hot water. We then ran the word off to the boil kettle where we proceeded to uh, add hops four different times. So we just added the bittering hops at 355. We use Super Galena for the bittering hop on this one. Booyah! Uh, after a 20 minute whirlpool, we ran the hot wort over 25 pounds of fresh citra hops, harvested from Yakima, Washington, the day before we brewed it. it smells good, huh? Only that thing could record smells, you know? So that's what we're stripping out of right now. God, that smells good. Then from the hot back, we chilled the wort down to fermentation temperatures and pumped them into one of our 30 barrel fermenters, pitched our house Chico strain, add copious amounts of dry hops, and uh, get it in kegs. Year to year, hops definitely vary. Dealing with those variations is what makes brewing more an art than a science. You've got to quantify what the flavors are and make them work the way you want them to work. And I think starting with wet hops at the beginning of the season allows us to get an idea of what we're looking at coming down the pike. <laughs>